Al Gore makes bizarre mention of 2000 election during interview ever since he lost the 2000 election. Al Gore has been running around the world, screaming about how global warming is going to kill humanity and that we are all doomed, all the while coming home to his energy-guzzling mansion and private jet. On Saturday, Gore went on Real Time with Bill Meyer to talk about climate change and to promote his latest documentary, an inconvenient sequel, Truth to Power, Independent Journal Review reported. During the back and forth, Meyer decided to needle Gore a little bit by bringing up the 2000 election, and Gore's response was truly shocking. So when the sea levels rise, obviously we could lose, like, Venice. We could lose Florida. And who would know better about losing Florida? Meyer asked. Actually, I think I carried Florida, Gore replied. But that's another, we won't go there. Looks like another Democrat living in a world of denial. If Gore had won Florida, he would have been the president. The Supreme Court ruled that Gore didn't win Florida. Factcheck.org reported that, while Bush officially won Florida, a full recount was never conducted. The Washington Times noted that Gore did end up winning the popular vote nationwide, but losing Florida's 25 electoral votes cost him his chance in the White House. I do think it's time to get rid of the Electoral College, Gore stated during a later part of his appearance on Meyer's show. Looks like someone really hasn't gotten over losing. Gore's statements show that he really has no concept of reality. I guess all those years of screaming about how the world will soon be underwater, only to have to push back his doomsday date, have really done a number on his brain. This failed presidential candidate has spent so much time peddling fake news that he is starting to believe his own lies. That's pretty sad.